Yes, uh, this is a 34 foot uh, 1997 trailer, the fifth wheel that I'm working on. And uh, I've uh, decided to replace all the rubber roofing itself. Only because it was in such poor shape that uh, there's no way of just coating it to get it done. Also decided to replace most of the uh, skylights and vents on here. Um, now all the seam seals have been done. It's been very windy so it's been really hard to get a video out for it. But uh, the Rexa Seal product that I've been using uh, is a very good product. It, uh, excellent for working up here by yourself in the wind. Uh, it's uh, easy enough to apply. And we'll get a shot here of the seams, especially here on the back one. It's, uh, it does do a nice job of coating in there really well. Seals up everything nicely and it's so easy to work with, uh, especially when you're doing everything by yourself. The uh, product uh, seems very good so far that I've been able to tell. And the slides, all they need to do is just be uh, coated with the Rexa Seal uh, coating and that should do the both slides okay. They seem to be in not bad shape. And as you can see, we got a little distance uh, up on here. And we go towards the front of the trailer. I've done some of the seams around the uh, sky, uh, the vents themselves, the uh, roof vents. So, and they come up really well. Uh, a little closer look here, and might be able to see it a little bit better. So. That's uh, all we are for now until I can do another video showing some more of the work done. This is uh, the first side that uh, put down since we got the, all the seam seals done on the trailer. It appears like uh, it's holding fairly good. We uh, have had nothing but a lot of bad weather and high winds and it's very hard putting down here by yourself. But you can do it, and the Rexa Seal seems to be a very good product as far as being able to do it that way. The uh, fills in there quite nicely. You can go around your objects fairly good, like going around by the uh, skylight back there. As you can see, the uh, we've gone right along that one side there, and it's sealed right around really good, and around by the uh, ladder and the cargo rack. And uh, that's the first side down. I'll have to wait for tomorrow to get the other side down, weather uh, permitting again. And I guess uh, that pretty well does it for now. Well, here uh, we've got the other half of the trailer done now, and uh, hopefully you can see that it's uh, sealed in around everything. The, uh, it has been fairly trying with the, the high winds that we've had today. Uh, I was having a tough time by myself up here with it, but did manage to get it all in there, and it looking good. The Rexa seal still works as well as I was always hoping for, so made life a lot easier putting all of it in there. And as you can see, everything's coated in there; should be all water sealed. Uh, the center has to be done yet. And here, I just had a little bit left in the pail, so I used it up. And if we turn around to the front side of the trailer here, you can see that. That hasn't been done yet, and it is, will happen here soon. That's about all I got for now. now hopefully that we're running here. Now that the roof line's all done, you can see that uh, it's turned out really well. We've had nothing but rain for quite a while here. Um, that's why I was unable to finish this video until now. The, the roof line turned out excellent. There's uh, no leaks. Very easy to work with. Love the product. Let's see if we can get you up a little closer here on some of the. There, maybe that way you can see the roof line a little bit. And you can see, including up on your slides, they uh, they got uh, sealed in as well, and uh, everything turned out really well. Very happy with the product.